है गाइस वेलकम बैक सो गाइस वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग आवर पी ब्लॉग एडमिन पैनल फॉर आवर ब्लॉगिंग वेबसाइट इन पी सो गाइस नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू गिव अ डेटा बेस कनेक्शन इन पी एच पी ओके सो गाइस लेट्स सेट अ डेटा बेस कनेक्शन वेर वी कैन रजिस्टर फॉर द यूजर्स सो दिस इज आवर रजिस्ट्रेशन फॉर्म वेर यू क्लिक ऑन रजिस्टर दैट टाइम इट शुड गेट रजिस्टर सो गाइस फॉर दैट यू हैव टू गिव अ डेटा बेस कनेक्शन सो गाइस लेट्स गेट स्टार्टड टू गिव द डेटा बेस कनेक्शन सो लेट्स मूव टू आर वी एस कोड एडिटर एंड let's move inside admin folder and create one file with the name folder with the name config and inside this config let's create a file dbcon.php and let's create one more file inside the folder of errors so inside this error folder i want to create db error.php file set so guys let's get back to our dbcon.php file open and close php so first start with the host where we'll mention local host then the username so for our local system we use root password is null right now guys so password and the database so my database name is blog guys so i'll just show you i have already created the database over here okay so just click on new and you will be able to create the blog done guys and yep let's paste here and now give the connection guys so for that let's type dollar con that is connection with the help of my sql i connect open and close function where we are going to connect dollar host first then your dollar username and then your password and then move on with the database yep now guys let's give a false condition so not dollar con let's give header location header capital l location colon where i want to go to errors folder forward slash where db error dot php file okay and then die function so guys i want this error to be outside the admin folder because if error comes in the front end also over here we don't want to show the path as admin slash error something like this okay so guys for that let's neglect that from admin folder to outer folder okay so just move that perfect so you can see that errors has come over here outside the folder so now guys you can just set this up with dot dot and forward slash because this dbcon.php will be called inside your index file and this when it comes over there if database error comes it will go to the errors folder okay it will jump and come set so guys now for this to check this so what happened i think we have missed that okay so give a correct database and yep let's move to index.php and include that file guys so let's type include function inside my config folder so config forward slash dbcon.php file and now guys let's call this index file of your admin let's refresh and you'll be able to view okay so now guys let's make a database name wrong and now let's try to refresh you will be redirected to errors db error.php so let's move to db error.php give h1 tag database connection failed okay save 
let's refresh perfect guys so whenever you have a database error connection that time you will face you will re be redirected to this db error.php let's give the correct spelling database now you can access your admin panel if your database con connection is correct done guys so guys we have successfully done how to give a database connection with the error page also okay so guys let's see next video how to register the user and login as an admin or a normal user so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share